you're through to anomaly pest control, we're experiencing an unusually high volume of calls right now, and all of our operators are busy. Your call is important to us. In order for us to best direct your request, please select from the following options. Press 1 if the anomaly you're trying to deal with is in your home. Press 2 if the anomaly you're trying to deal with is outside. Press 3 if the anomaly is responsible for any kind of loss of life. <laughs> Press 4 if you think you have become an anomaly. <laughs> Who's sending this? Is someone pranking me? Fax machine. Curious, this frequency analyzer and extractor machine shouldn't be receiving anything. Is it even hooked up to phone lines? <laughs> Just chalk it up to zone things, whatever, man. Uh, I'm kind of curious, though. Does that anomaly hotline, can I ask it for some help? Because it would be nice to get some help every now and then. <laughs> Date unknown. Cool. Fax machines. Back in the day and all that. I think we're probably just about ready to head off already, because I did upgrade my car. By the way, I forgot to talk about the wheels. Look, off-road wheels. Yeah, these are nice and fancy and bulky. Probably not prone to, hopefully, hopefully not prone to getting a flat. And then in my trunk, I do have one spare summer tire. Surprisingly, the summer tire is better than the spare tire. Yeah, I had spare tires here before, but... Since the summer one's better, I was like, okay, fine, I'll just have the, the summer one here. And we have... Stuff. We have stuff here. Can I... Oh! Here's a lab report. I was looking for this last time. So I'll put this in here. You... Can go into the fax machine. Thank you. But one more thing that I think we can do is probably investigate this... This paint shelf a little bit more. Paint stripper. Okay, we just have a regular blue paint right now. These decals. Can we try the blue paint? I like blue. We could try it. Oh, it's a spray can. I don't need like uh, other supplies for it. Oh. Oh. Hmm, I'm not sure how much I like that. I like blue, but this kind of blue on top of the rusted panel <laughs> doesn't look exactly great here. Chassis. What does that mean? Zero, one out of... Okay. I prefer the black, to be honest. Yeah, if we can find some more nice paints, that would be nice. I would like the, you know, do some more decoration work. You want to try putting camo? How many sides can we put it on? Um, maybe like, I'll just... Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Let's try this. Kind of typical though. Hey, a camo car going on a survival adventure. I'll <laughs> just leave the hood like that, sure. What's the difference between a decal and a paint? In game wise. Does this ever come off? Will the paint ever come off? I don't know. <laughs> I kind of feel like a safari. A safari thing. Eh, it's easily... Actually, no. It's not easily recognizable. I'm gonna lose my car. In the middle of the forest. <laughs> that might not be such a good thing, but... We have committed. Well... Uh, I'll leave the front like that for a little bit of individuality or something. <laughs> sure. So the whole car took me about over half the roll. Okay, I see, I see. Mm, I'm not really... What's the shuttle? Pretend you're part of a secret Arda space project with this decal design. Oh, this one seems cool too, but I just started using this. So let's, let's go on like this for a little bit longer. <laughs> I don't know about that blue. Uh, what else was I gonna do? No, I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. The quirks? I should probably fix that quirk. Why is it raining again? I hate the rain. We can make a putty too, but there, I can only make one, so I'm a little bit hesitant to use the chemicals. And we can make it on the road anyway, or eh, I guess I should make it right now. Sure. Mechanics kit. Fix that annoying crap happening, please. But maybe it's a... 
It'll be a little bit lonely not seeing that happen again. There's two more quirks. I haven't really seen much... Something to do with the wipers, I think. Probably. Man, is this seriously raining again? I was thinking this would be a nice day, we'd go on on a nice trip and... Everything will be fine and dandy and all that. Let's go on then. Yeah. I think today, maybe what we'll do is... Well, first of all, remember how there's certain supplies that we have a million of? Maybe... Let's try to not scrap cars too much. We'll still do it sometimes, but that's not the main resource we need right now. So I'm gonna try to focus on maybe looking through houses and whatnot. And maybe I'll try using the radio another time too. <laughs> when I'm working, I don't listen to music. Do you listen to music? Like, I find it really distracting. Maybe because I like singing along. Okay. If we want stuff like unstable energy, do we have to go to these regions? Junction stability is low. Stable anchor is low. And these are kind of... I don't know about these places. Extreme conditions. We don't know what the extreme conditions are. There are some atmospheric shifts. Low fuel. But there's max... Look. Resource density. It's max. Ah. Go big or go home, right? <laughs> Something like that. Research outpost. Extreme conditions, gusts and gales, shocking speed, swift storm. Okay. All right. My car is beefed up now. We do have steel panels and stuff, but it's not... Oh, fantastic! The weather is good again. Maybe this will be okay after all. <gasps> Damn, look at all the, the little trinkets I got. Barely recognize my car. Oh, my headlights, by the way. I'm sorry. I should probably be using the repair putty right now. Don't wait until it's broken later, right? Am I using my battery right now by leaving the car on? Probably. Good enough? Good enough. Good enough. Alright, that's a perfect start. Which means we're gonna have a perfect day. How, how's the gas looking? Gas is good. Everything's good. Do a do a thing for the electricity anyway. <laughs> even though we were already full. And off we go. We don't even have to worry about the door opening randomly again. Ain't that great? Yeah, let's go! Road trip! Is it just me, or are there more random buildings around here now? I don't even know. <laughs> that bobblehead's gonna get distracting. I've never really had to use the handbrake, up until now. Okay, this place we've been to, there's only two more things that we haven't... Yeah, this is the crappy area with no resources, right? So I think we don't really... There shouldn't be too much here. Radio station. Smallish town. Oh, no, it's raining again. I don't even use the wipers normally. <laughs> That's a huge bollard. Are we sure this place is perpetually stable? The arc device needs different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the arc device until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. Yeah. I think this would have been helpful if you told me earlier, though. <laughs> Rainy. Oh, um, I'm gonna check out that tanker first. Oh, now you fix the. Okay, just keeps popping up. Like us. The remnants are like us in a way. Those of us who chose to stay behind, we are as discarded and forgotten as they are. 
And by chose to stay, you mean actively defying government orders to evacuate? Then yes. You remember how we went without electricity for four months to dodge the clearing crews? There's, like, what? Only a hundred of us left? If even that. Frankly, I'm surprised so many of us were unable to move on for one reason or another. Oh, speak for yourself. I'm here for the hunt. Hey, even better now, there's no one to get in our way. Now, I don't know if taking the steel door like this is a good idea, but we have it. And I wanted to use up the Liberator to free up some space in my inventory and all that. I'll do it like that. I don't know about that handbag, though. Oh, I see those sweet chemicals in here. Pass it over. How do we determine when we get those logs? It just comes in every now and then. Hey, driver, not to be a downer or nothing, but uh, I'm wondering what we do if you can't find a way out of the zone. Why would you say they that? They themselves over the wall. They'll find a way to survive here like the rest of us. Or not. Won't be my problem at that point. Whoa. I hardly call what we're doing here surviving. Ugh, look, hey, both of you always going on and on about putting up with this, ensuring that. There's more to life than that, you know? You, for example, Arpy, you're brilliant. You controlled fundamental forces of nature with your fingertips. Both of you did. <sighs> Slow down there, kid. We were scientists, not superheroes. Well, I mean, look, hey, to someone who was all thumbs when it came to science, they're one and the same. I just don't understand why you're wasting away here, borrowed away in the zone. Both of you, you're sitting on so much lost potential. Potential is a carrot on a stick for the young. An illusion to keep you forging on when you should have given up long ago. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. And look what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. What I did. Yeah, she did it. Look around. We're stuck here. For good. All we can do is survive. Everything else is moot. I forgot what a charmer you are, Oppie. An absolute living ray of sunshine and optimism. Francis or Tobias did make it sound like we could leave whenever we want. Hey, why are you staying here, man? But yeah, we don't we don't get to fix that, I'm pretty sure. And Oppie might have some guilt because it does sound like she was heavily involved with all that. And so maybe even if she could leave, she would choose not to, to feel like she's atoning for it. Is she actually atoning for it? That's another issue in and of itself. I don't have enough quick slots. I wish they gave me just like one or two more. That would be so great. I'll do it like this right now. I just want to see if this hand vac works on the... Oh, okay. I see, we don't have to s Oh, wow, okay. We're just grabbing up the bulbs. That's fantastic. All right. Yeah, I see some supplies we don't usually see, so that's good. Although, uh, yeah, we were carrying way too much stuff. I probably have to scrap this one later on. So much for the Liberator. I'm just making sure I turn that off already. Now, did you have a... We are basically right next to a anchor here. The train is pulling out the station. The weather is pretty weird here. Little bits of rain, it just stops right away. But it does rain a lot on the west coast, so. Oh, that's way. What's the catch? This is way too close to the road. It's just sitting here. It's begging me hey, take me, take me. I will. Stick it in. Wow, that was incredibly successful. And we'll just keep following the road. Sure. Oops. This isn't the one zone to worry about. This is the stable zone. The one that we want to worry about is the next one. Oh, yes, yes. Bulbs, glass shards, probably good things. 
Paint, red paint. 9V battery, evergreen paint. I'll take all of that, thanks. Wait, I'm already kind of full on supplies. This is insane. Paints! Oh, the bulbs are pretty big. That's a problem. Oh, you know what else is a problem? Wait. Oh! Wait, how do you do the auto sword? I don't know. Something I just did, did the auto sword. But yeah, I, I, I need to take this out. This is just too much, I think. Okay. What should I do? Just grab it? Bit of a waste. But I need the space. Hi. Nice to meet ya. And all that. All right. It's such a nice day today. Can we get like an upbeat song? Oh, what was that? Wait, what station was that? Oh dang, I missed it. I, I just... It was 102 or something. Oh well, maybe I'll come across it again. I can't get to 102, it just goes by a little bit too fast. Dang. Yeah, do we just want to listen to the train song the whole time or... We'll go for another song, sure. Sounds good to me. That car looks... Semi-intact. Um, even if we're not scrapping the car, maybe we can check the trunks. By the way, my pry bar is almost done. These things are always stuff to be wary about. There's hot dust there, I think. Just the panel? I think I'm good. And then there's some stuff right here. Okay. If I just leave my car running, the battery hopefully won't be too bad. These are... more research related things. Wait, why am I... there's radiation here. A little bit. How? Why? I don't know, but I'm losing a little bit of health. Yeah, that's... that's the edge of the place. Okay. It would be cool if later on we could have a way to call the car to where we need to be. Because right now the whole loop of having to stop the car every three seconds is a bit of a drag. <laughs> Try adjusting the radio again. Hmm. Whoops. So that's the battery, and then the gas is... No, this is the battery. That's armor. I don't even look at the indicators on my dashboard that often. There's more stuff here. It's a nice day today. Let's make it work. Gas, Overlook, Camping... Mm-hmm. I think we've been to a similar... No, this is like... I feel like we've been to this map before. Even that very first research place we were looking at. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Left, right. That's a left, right, right? That's a left, right. Do you want to try walking into the left, right as a person? Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, that's good to know. Maybe it's the car that's not okay, but I'm okay. Okay. Do you want to try walking through it anyway? Wouldn't be smart. <laughs> uh, I'll just like slide off the edge here, maybe. Oh! Oh! Oh, it kind of glitches up my whole thing. Whoa, 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 whoa! 
How long does that last for? That was actually kind of scary. Oh. Noted. But it's nice to try it out in a more controlled environment and then never try it out again. Blue paint. Gold paint. Nice. I see those chemicals. And I want them. Right now, pretty much. My pry bar. Oh. I have a feeling I'm not gonna have enough space to get everything. Thank you. This is a... Uh, oh, how do we... Hmm. Can we just sort of like pry in then? No? Okay, we don't have a way to go in here, really. Really now. Electrician's kit. Electrician's kit. If we can get some chemicals, I feel like that would be worth it. Look, there's stuff in there. But do I know how to make an electrician's kit? I don't think so. Maybe that's something to research then. Okay, got it. That's a shame. That means I just gotta leave it then. Got a lot of paints today. Let's focus on getting the... Oh no. Does that kind of thing just happens every now and then or like... I don't even know what the conditions are, but it's coming this way. So it's not like I can avoid it. Alright. Oh, this is painful. Just watching it go. Now I'll know to put electrician's kit on my list of stuff to get. Can we get to a gas station? Do you think that would help? Wait out the storm a little bit. Yeah, I feel like after a while we can probably start ignoring the wrecked cars. Not ignoring, but it's just that we have a very limited space around here. So we want to make the best of what we have. Storm. Oh, it's not coming here, actually. That's good. Gonna have a look at the surroundings and see what we can get here. First of all. I'll take that. Thanks. Is there a can opener around here? It's just a washroom. The wipers I've been on the whole time. Whoops. Wait, is the sound coming from inside here? I don't think so, right? Don't make me feel like I'm going crazy. Ah, another evergreen resource is the scrap metal. We always need that. So that's just never going to be a bad thing. What the hell is that sound? My god. Big Dan. Big Dan. I'm literally just going through people's trash. And my pry bar is gone. I'm seeing some things I want to see. But give me chemicals. Chemicals are usually in the, um, the hazmat cabinets and all that. So if we want to aim for that specifically, maybe we want to go to the Arda related sites. a bunch of wrecked cars here. Oh yeah, these have a lot of paint. Burnt orange. If we collect too much... Whoa, it's all... It's foggy. Today's weather is kind of crazy. But if we're gonna be full already, then... Yeah. I shouldn't be spending too much... We haven't even made it to the unstable area yet. That place might have new resources, you know? Hey! Hey! There's a fr Oh, wow! These dumpsters exist outside of the garage? That's news to me. I never got a log of you. Thanks. 
Any more? Electronics. Dumpster pearl. What was that? Slice a pearl in half and you'll find thousands of layers of precious materials formed around a core. Break one of these apart and who knows what'll pop out. 5,000 health. Oh. Let's bring it back. Bring it back first and then we'll investigate it, okay? Because I feel like... 5,000 health. What if it pops out so much stuff, I can't keep carrying it? That's what I'm worried about. Dang, I'm full already. That's not good. That's a sign that we should get going then. I'll make a pry bar. Just in case. Thanks, man. We should prioritize upgrading the space in our car too if we can. That would be good. Okay, my next goal is probably just gonna be this and then... I think we can get out. Yeah. Nice and peaceful day. Nothing going wrong. It's okay. That's just a normal left-right. Now, this is up a hill. I don't want to drive my car there. I'm just gonna walk it. Whoa! Gotta be careful about that saw. Yep. Lots of left right. They don't affect me. I guess there goes the I'm a robot AI theory. Because I don't get affected by that anomaly, apparently. What is this? Just some random tower? We are good! I think we probably have enough to get out of here. Yeah, that was a good one. Alright. So. Turn off the wipers, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> We're just gonna... Cross. And... Speed on the heck out of here. Uh, this is probably the place where we initially saw the... Um, the tower that we went to. Remember that part? There's one... Whoa! Okay, massive radiation here. Never mind, let's go. I was gonna go pick that up, but... Mm. We're protected from radiation while inside the car. But the moment we step out... Wanna turn this on? Yeah, I think we can... We can get going, unless if we... Do we need plasma? Oh! There might be some... Chemicals here. In that case... I do wanna go check it out. Oh, yeah, I feel like this zone. We're fine, we're fine. Yes, chemicals! Give me that. No! My chemicals. My stuff. Yeah, I, I don't care much about the flares right now because we, we have so much of it. All right, let's go, let's go. And then... Ah, uh, while we're here anyway... I'm gonna be saying that a lot, aren't I? Oh, while I'm here... Let's do this too, let's do that too. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! We good. And we're out of here. Good, good. I think we have a, a good handle on the basic loop of this now. By the way, I just remembered there were a whole bunch of anomalies I saw last time that I forgot to read about. Maybe I'll read about it right now. I think we're relatively safe here. Shh. 
shocked tourist. You know what? It's an increasingly bad time in the zone these days. Every day, when I step out my door, I should get a different job. I should do something else. It's getting worse. I swear those things are all but springing up out of thin air. And now we have this chain reaction thing. This brutal deadly trap that just outright slaughters people. Whole lines of those dummies, any one of them capable of setting off all the rest. Seven people have died in three days. You know what it feels like to me? Like the zone is murdering us. Even like it enjoys doing so. It's as if something really, really doesn't want us here. And you know what? That's fine by me. Tomorrow morning, I'm out. That last zone we were in definitely did feel like things were very dangerous. Airstrip. Tobias? This is Francis Cook. Yeah, the scientist. Got a bit of an update for you. I'm afraid it's bad news. Those drums of experimental gravity gel we were sending back to you are not gonna get there. Neither is the truck, it seems. We had some kind of atmospheric shift and then more anomalies than I think I've ever seen before. Everyone's safe, but our driver has a broken leg and, well, as for the gel... The whole strip of road between our lab site and that old gas station got smeared and scrambled, so now it's more like some kind of giant trampoline. I'm not kidding. Anything that touches that road just takes off. It's starting to spread to some of the forest and swamp nearby. It's not that the gel is just spilled on the ground. It's like it's a part of the ground now, a part of the earth itself. So I guess you can update your inventory logs on that. Is there some kind of maintenance request that I should file for this? <laughs> so... It's a giant trampoline. That's the behavior? That's kind of scary. Minuteman! Well, I'm very sorry to hear that you find my anger and frustration difficult to deal with, even intimidating. But I wonder if you'd react the same way, if any of your male colleagues came to you with similar complaints or dissatisfaction. I've been on hold for two hours, and I'm calling to warn you of a new danger that it is very much in everyone's interest to know about. Do you understand? No, listen to me. Write this down. We're seeing more and more anomalies capable of electrogenesis, of producing electric energy like an eel or a ray, but at remarkable levels. This is enormously dangerous, and I don't care what secrets Arda wants to keep. This is about people's safety, their lives. This has nothing to do with me trying to muscle in on research or put myself back on some half-assed program. It's about you idiots understanding the risks you're hiding from people. Now let me send this data through. Oh, you want to talk about theories? How are you on limb wave interpolation? Or Patel's theory that Arda have twisted half the peninsula into some kind of climb bottle, where the inside is now the outside as well? Or do you want to put me through to someone who is actually interested in making things happen? They're angry. This is kind of like the shock tourist. Kind of, but it also sort of just disappears sometimes. Spike puddle. Captain Neil Douglas filing. Today, when engaged in pursuit of a pair of zone trespassers, three vehicles from B Company were damaged and put out of action by what may have been traps deliberately laid. The trespassers, who cross from Canada via the Salish Sea and maybe fugitives, are believed to have landed somewhere near Joyce after traveling via small boat. After multiple sightings and extensive tracking, we encountered the trespassers at approximately 11 hours and began a vehicular pursuit down several fire roads. Driving a stolen government car, the trespassers evaded capture for some time and were able to pre prevent further pursuit by leading our team across patches of some kind of semi-organic oil-like spikes. All three cars used in the pursuit suffered destroyed tires and damaged wheels. The tires and wheels, bad. It's unclear at this time whether these patches had somehow been laid in response to the pursuit, or had existed some time beforehand. These patches are extremely dangerous and utterly unlike anything we've seen before. The general... Sorry, I kind of picked a bad spot to read here. It's pretty noisy. But the general thing is, whenever we see an anomaly, we don't want to touch it. And I feel like I'm, I'm pretty okay at that. So hopefully we'll continue to be pretty okay. At surviving. Man, if, <laughs> if I just moved a little bit down the road, it would have been so much quieter. That can opener was being so damn noisy. Are you ready? Next part it might be kind of scary. Oh, I might want to eat a little before then. You never know what's going to happen. Actually, I think it'll be a good idea for us to... Someone trying to communicate with us? Mm -hmm. 
It's like a number station, but with no numbers. All right. It really might have been a, a number station. Okay. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so this place already has a storm to begin with. Where I am? No. Extreme conditions, gusts and gales, shocking speed. Um, I'll just go for this one then. This one seems like it's on a mountain. That might be a bit hard for us to get to. And there's radiation everywhere. And it's raining a little bit. There is a gas station in front of us. Oh yeah, this is looking a bit nasty already. So we can't... Uh... I don't think we want to go in here actually, but there is a boost. I don't know. L let's just go past. Where am I boosting to though? Actually, do you mind if I just... I know... Oh, the anomaly. Oh, the radiation! Oh, uh, this is an anomaly! Glittering boulder. I just wanted to see if we could get anything there. That's all. But we should probably go. Are there nice anomalies? I don't know. And I'm driving right towards the storm too. Oh, I want to go that way. But that's covered by the storm. It's covered by the storm. You really want to go there? Not like this, though. I I'm going off track. I'm going into the forests again. You know what? I'm gonna go here instead. I think that's a better plan. If we can still drive back up. Sorry, that was getting a little chaotic here. What is this? This might be interesting. There it's... Wait, this isn't even listed on the map. Storm coming. Wait, the storm's right here. Oh, that's just a billboard. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Whoops! Maybe it's time to turn off the music a little bit. Yeah, stay on the road here. So this place doesn't have perpetual stability. Does that mean that storms, we can't stay for too long then? Our number one goal right now might be to get some stable energy then, because we can't even use... Uh-oh. Without stable energy, we're not even allowed to leave if we wanted to. We're in the storm. But it's not as bad as last time. I can still control my car fine. I think. Whole place is irradiated. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Just push my car forward. I'm trying to get out of the storm if we can. Oh! Uh, I want to go this way. If you'll let me. Maybe I'll just go around you.
Okay, we're, we're at the edge of the storm right now. I'm hoping if we just continue to go around it, then we can get back to the spot with the um, stable energy. This is okay, this is okay. Whoa. Oh, this is the exit. But not for us. We can't leave like this. I do have a quick moment here. I'm gonna... Maybe grab the repair putty. Yeah, because things are... Looking a little... Not as great. Whether or not we have headlights, not my biggest concern right now. I can still sort of see in the dark. Sort of. And I'm not doing great either. I have 67% health, okay? Let's let's try to keep that in mind. Um Oh, that I got electrified earlier, probably. Yeah, let's just turn around and keep going. I think we're okay for now. This way? But the the yellow here, oh god. The weather is very clearly just not that great. We have a different kind of circle gaining in on us. Is this okay? Are we gonna be okay? Oh man. I'm not gonna boost into the wall, thanks. Here? Oh! Pretty sure I hit a tourist. My wheel not looking great. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. We're... We're alright. We're almost at the... Stability anchor. Let's go back out this way. What's... Oh, we're out of the, the circle of influence. The car is a little damaged, though. I'm not exactly sure what that's the really... the non-blotchy circle is yet. Hey, there's a, there's a green thing there. What is that? I think we should try to go there if we can, but... Maybe after I get this... Okay, hold up, hold up. Oh! No, please leave. Dust Bunny! Dust Bunny, what are you? Are you- you're different, you're not broken. What are you? Oh, I'm in danger right now, I don't have time to read this. Don't use your bare hands, don't touch the anomalies. Okay, that's great, but I- I, um... Yeah. I'm just trying to stay alive right now. That's what girl's trying to do. I'm gonna put this right here. Grab this. Is my light even working anymore? This is a non-broken bunny. It looks slightly less threatening. Oh, Lord! Ah! Get out of here! You all good? Because I have another one I want. I want that one too. I'm just thinking if I want to get to that as well. Oh dear, oh dear. Can I walk there? Oh. Just one second here. Did you break something?
I want to open that gateway, but if I open that gateway further off, I'm not gonna be- I'm already too close, I can't open it. You see what I mean? How am I gonna leave here if I'm that close to everything? I gotta get to a spot where I'm at least- Um... Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, my car is not doing good. Yeah, that's not even... That's not even on the road. If I can get this one, that would be really great. But that's way too close for me. Blindly driving backwards right now. The radiation is leaking inside the car, probably because the car is broken up. Okay, forget about all this. You know what? I'm just gonna... Why am I not taking my car? Because it's more difficult to maneuver later on, that's why. I'm just gonna go here. I know, oh, I, it hurts, it hurts. It's alright, it's alright. We're good. Oh lord! Minute man, minute men. Whoa! You're completely blocking me. You're gonna be gone? Thanks. I need to craft myself some protective clothing. Seriously. Yeah, my car is eroding in here, too. Can I- can I make any kind of repair putty? Anything? My quest for chemicals ending in a failure yet again. Yeah, this split- this whole thing is slowly just eroding, the whole thing. Instead of worrying about all this, I think we need to go. I'd love to see what that is, but I, I'm, a, I'm feeling very squeezed right now. And the legend, the legend's not telling me what it is. So my plan is I'm gonna move far enough away. Welcome to the Forgotten Path Zone podcast coming to you over your radio. Uh, we are live here and I'm joined by my friend Justin and my friend Bobby. My name is Noah. I'm your friend, as always, as we dive into the spookiness that is this wonderful, uh, Rolling and role-playing game. How are y'all doing? You always do that like people are listening. Nobody's listening. I like what I'm doing. I did die, but what if somebody is out there like listening? Um, but if we're going to play anyway, we might as well create stuff for people out there, right? If there's anyone out there, I hope they bring back good pizza. Yeah, if it helps, you can get along, sure. I'm trying to get far enough away so that we can activate the gateway, because this gateway is a lot easier to reach than the other one, I think. But I'm... I am out of healing supplies. That is really not good. We are on a timed schedule here. Storm is incoming as well. How far away is far enough away? Maybe I should have just activated the other one, huh? But that one seemed like it was on some kind of a slope, which I really didn't want to do. Okay. How am I still too close? How am I... Okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Okay, now we're good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around. Activate it. And we're going.
Radiation levels here are insane. Whoa, what the hell is that? I didn't even have time to enjoy the podcast earlier. I am keeping a eye on my health. I think we can probably get back fine this time. But it's a little dicey, for sure. Too bad about the green thing. Maybe next time. Yeah, see, this is flat land. Much more easy to reach than the, the other one, which was kind of on a mountain or something. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? We're good. We got through fine. 3.9 stable energy? Not so bad. You know, interesting thing about those anchor plugs, they use limb technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. Basically, they delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. Really? Oh, wow. Um, at some point, my door probably just melted away. This isn't even about repairing anymore. I think I have enough materials, I hope to just make new stuff again. But yikes. Okay, we got energy though. I think that's the important thing here. And, uh, I could use a little bit of health. Thanks. Most of what we got back... Okay, the important thing is we got back everything too. All these supplies, we got it with me. These paints, <laughs> I just put it in the locker right now. Maybe I'll make use of it some other time. Some of them are used already. Oh, we brought back these two things too. Dumpster pearl. Yeah, let's, let's check that stuff out. All right, cool, cool. Maybe we can look at it together too. I honestly don't think we need that large fuel can right now. Mm, I really don't like the rain being so loud here. No man, you don't get it. It's not that I can't sleep. It's that since coming here, I don't need to sleep. I haven't felt tired in six years. Oh God, <laughs> all right. Weirdly enough, though, we didn't actually see any new anomalies, I think. Not obvious ones, but yeah. I'm just gonna recycle all this. Oh, maybe I... The steel door is better than the one inside, I'm just saying. Oh, these are all steel now. Oh, so maybe you're, me maybe you're meant to be able to use these for your own car? Because it used to be crude. Now it's all steel. If I had a liberator, I could just pluck them right off. Or I could just make a whole bunch of steel doors myself. That works too. Scrap metal. I might not have enough. What do you want to give me? I don't want- It's making fun of me again. Saying my car sucks. Wait, I really don't want your crude stuff though. This is crude. No. Um, I'm just gonna- Drop it back down here. What's that? Repair putty! Yes, that's good. Oh my god, are my car- is my- are my doors that bad? Yeah, they are. Maybe I do want the crude stuff. High-tech steering wheel. What is this? Can I just have it? High-tech steering wheel. Maybe some of the buttons are for show, but it's still fun, right? Oh, it's more like a customization thing. I thought it was like a actual upgrade. Let's stick it in here. Whew. I'm gonna put on some music while we do a little bit of repair work. But I think the volume on this one is a little bit broken. It's the same volume, no matter how you do it. <laughs> okay. 3.9 energy. What can we do with it? This is the most important thing. Athletics stimulation machine? Station? What's it for? Accessory? Wait. 
reward you with a car accessory in exchange for anchor energy. I don't even have enough anchor energy for my own liking right now. No, thank you. <laughs> Outfitting station. I know we can get backpacks and stuff. But where where does that start? Side rack. The music is sort of clashing with the in-game music a bit. <laughs> Do we need the outfitting station? Expand a locker would be good. But 0 0.5 energy kind of good? I don't know, man. We can get a lot of expanded lockers. Okay, I'll get one. Oh, I can't. I don't have steel sheets. Chemicals. Oh, I don't have chemicals. I can't get this. Yeah. I guess maybe I should just be continually going up. Lead plated panel versus armored panel. Lead panel has health 60. Armored panel is 55, but it looks like there's some radiation resistance. Might be better for me. Okay, I'll get this then. This is 0 0.9. I want to check out where the, the backpack stuff is, though. Flashlight. Side floodlights. All terrain. All my wheels were doing great this time. Thank goodness. Puncture proof tire. Puncture proof. Off road. It's a little bit better, but if we can get the other ones, all terrain tire, it might be better. These ones need unstable energy though, so probably not for now. Okay, expansion rack on the car. Mounting of additional equipment. Where does this go? I'm just holding on to it? What do I do with it? What do I what do I do with it? <laughs> Weld a sturdy rack onto the side of your vehicle. And yes, this will be extremely inelegant. <laughs> but oh, the problem might be that I don't have any welding skills. This is just gonna sit here for now. It won't disappear, right? Okay, I'll just put it here for now. I need unstable energy for that. All that. Liberator, Mark II, corrupted energy. Side storage. Oh, this is something else. Side storage. Yes, extra space in the trunk. Did we get extra space? Maybe we have to make it later. Okay. Letting my brain think a little bit, you know? Oh, yes, we had... Extra spare tires here, that's right. We do have another locker here. Now we have two more stable energy. I just want to make sure I'm... doing the best of what I have here. Anchor Raider. Find anchors. I'm just wondering why we need this, though, because... we can already see this on the map, can't we? Unless if I'm wrong. Maybe there's some that are not marked on the map. If so, that would be good. Or maybe, can they take the map away from us later? That would be pretty bad, too. Get it just in case, I guess. Parts locker. Oh, those lockers would be good, too. Oh, man. Where can we upgrade our backpack, though? That's what I'm interested in. Oh, I can also upgrade to carbon fiberglass. Really? 0.4? Prototyping new layouts. It's a half circuit board. Wait, wait. No, no, no. This one needs unstable energy. I'm sorry. Was reading the wrong one. Oh, electrician's kit. If we want unstable energy, we have to go to places with unstable zone stability, right? I think so. 
Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do some repairs before we keep looking at this. I wish we had chemicals so badly. I somehow managed to get my car back in... Oh, that crude door is not the greatest. You can tell by where the camo paint is, where the original parts had to be replaced. I got an insulated door here, not because I'm scared of electricity, it's good for electricity, but because it has higher base health than the steel door. Steel door is like what? Can we see here, actually? Yeah, you can see the stats on that little, that little screen. Hmm... Actually, this isn't the best place to see it, but if you look in the workbench... Steel door is 40 health, insulated door is 60 health. So that's why I was trying to slowly improve my car and make it insulated-ified if we can. Although, yeah, electricity is not, not the biggest of my worries. Somehow managed to get something that looks like a car again. Although not without some sacrifices. This side rack thing, I don't think I can do anything with it for now. I Because it says I have to weld it on somewhere, right? But I, I don't have a welding tool. Maybe that's the problem. But you know what we can do? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? These two things. The dumpster pearl. What do I do with them? Do I just break them open? How do I break them open? They have 5,000 health. And breaking them open might be a problem in and of itself. I'll try breaking one first. Pearl. Unreliable. No, I wanted to look at this thingy. Unreliable. This thing is unreliable. That's why it was showing me that. Okay. There's no fix. If I break it open. What? Like this? Oh, my entire... I think my entire scrapper will be gone before I can get through this. Yeah, this is... I think maybe this is something we just store here for now and then we'll get some better tools to destroy it with later on. Especially because I don't actually even have enough scrap metal for another scrapper right now. I guess I'll just put this in my locker for now. It might not even fit in here. Yeah, I'll put it in my other locker here. These were the panels that we came back with. They have the camo paint, so that's why I didn't want to destroy them outright. But at, <laughs> at the same time, it's kind of useless at the moment. So this one, the health... We can't see how much health got taken away. You can see the difference in the bar here, but that's it. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. That mission, we got some supplies, but the chemicals are still such a bottleneck. I think if I want a bigger backpack, I need to get... Outfitting station. Oh, well, now I don't even have scrap metal for it, so that's great. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of out on supplies right now. Hmm. I have energy, but not supplies. And I think we developed some new quirks as well, although I have no idea what. I haven't noticed anything. I can try opening doors. I guess if nothing's bothering me, it's not a big problem. Well, none of it is activated by opening doors. That's what it seems like at the minimum. Was that where the wipers always on? Okay. It's normal. Trying to do some troubleshooting here just by basic driving around. Seems okay. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Just a mini game? Highlights. This seems fine. I don't know if the quirks activate every single time. Maybe not. Well, it doesn't seem to be related to normal functions. It's not like a super big deal then. Okay, fine, whatever, leave it alone then. Whew. Well, this time, it's okay. It's okay, we didn't come back at a net negative. 
We did get some stable energy and all that. Even if I don't have enough materials to really craft anything with it. What does it look like now? Oh, so I gotta go through the unstable area again to try to get through here so we can get to the wall. That hasn't moved yet. Seriously? Midnight Forest? Um. You see the thing that we're, we're doing here, though? I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to go here again, go here, and then go here. Which is crazy, because we already went through the previous areas. Depending on what happens, maybe I'll just... Yeah. I'll just try to gather some supplies and see where we get. When we come back and set off. <laughs>